Welcome to St. Louis and Bush Stadium. Home of the Cardinals since 2006. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies, the St. Louis Cardinals. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And one and two. One ball, two strikes, you count. The wide to kick the pitch. Inside ball. Oh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so one might out. have it timed Thank up you. and ready for it. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And the righty deals. On the ground, out to short. Nice stop. Over to Edmund. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Great reaction there to get to the baseball, secure it, and then no time to get up and throw. Throws from one knee. That's a guy that's got a lot of confidence in his arm strength and accuracy. Bryce Harper to the plate. The 1-1. One -one. And he pumps it a strike. The count is one and two. and miss struck him out that's the second out man at first and up to the plate is JT Real Muto known for his rocket arm behind the plate and a foul ball next one just misses three and two now And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We go to the bottom of the first. Tommy Edmond at the plate. And a pitch. That one pulled foul. Next pitch is outside. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One up, one down. Now up for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. Good contact guy, good defender. Next offering upstairs. That one the other way. He's got it, and there's two away. So two down now, and here is Tyler O'Neill. This guy has turned into a beast. Next one misses, two and one. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Sends it across to first. And O'Neill is retired. That's the third out. Inning over. Second inning set to go. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Next pitch is outside. Righty delivers. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Yeah. 
and a pitch. Bounce to the right side. Over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Gene Segura at the plate here. The second baseman. Next offering in the dirt. Two and one. The pitch. Misses inside. Now three and one. One down, base is empty. In for a strike. Three and two now. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field. Pretty well struck. That's back. And gone. A shot to left. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. D.D. Gregorius steps to the plate. One, two now. And that one is lifted in the air. Carlson makes the grab. Two away now. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the rookie center fielder, Matt Veerlin. The other way, and a base hit right there. And that keeps the inning going. This is Bryson Stott. Bryson Stott. Left-hand batter waits. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. Next pitch is outside. Three balls and a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. So now two on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. the middle that's a base hit Veerlin headed for the plate the throw in he beats it safe and they take a two-run lead back-to-back -back singles just kept it simple played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down Nick Castellanos at the plate now just missed if he's able to connect on that look out Swing and a miss, and that is that. Bottom of the second. Here's Nolan Arenado. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The next oh, offering there. misses, and that's ball three. The pitch. And that's ball, ball four. four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. This is Dylan Carlson. Here comes a pitch. Just missed. And a pitch. And now it's three and two. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Corey Dickerson. Next offering is foul back. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Next pitch just misses. Two and two. At the belt and fires. Into center. Veerlin makes the catch, and there's one down. 
Now Molina at the plate. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. They say you win. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one two got him and there's two away so first and second with two outs and stepping in for the Cardinals Paul de Young and he deals the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four well a breaking ball in that three two count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now just couldn't find the strike zone and now Bader up to the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes, yeah. And another Back ball. Two and two. Arenado at third. Carlson over at second. De Young on at first with two down. Out towards right center field. That's back there. And that one is gone. Harrison Bader leaves the yard. And they lead it. It's 4-2. Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. The 1-1. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. Two outs. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Back here at Bush Stadium. And now here is Bryce Harper. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Bader pulls that one down and a quick out number one. JT Real Muto steps the in. The catcher, JT. And that one sliced foul. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance dives but it falls and now it looks like extra bases not stopping he's going for three and he's there at third with a triple so one gone with a runner at third so digging in now for Philadelphia Reese Hoskins Pitches outside. One away with a runner at third. The pitch. Out of bounce right side. Edmund picks it up, sends it to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Two outs, base is empty. Gene Segura, the next to hit. Ball to strike. And that one hit to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. And that is that. As we go to the last of the third, here's Paul Goldschmidt been a rough start on the mound for this guy his third inning so important for him to get on track turn the page settle in do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one well he looks fresh out there just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past and that one in the air center field Veerlin makes the catch and there's one down here's Tyler O'Neill Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat 
I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Next pitch, not close, up high. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. In the air, out towards right center. Harper on the move to the alley. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Here's Nolan Arenado. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Next offering down in the dirt. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Two down, nobody on. Smoked on the ground a second. Oh, he gloves it, and that's a nice play to end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, out of the fourth, stepping in, Didi Gregorius. Well struck left field back there. And it bangs off the wall. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. pitch has popped up Goldie makes the grab and there's one away so well, that was a pitch you gotta crush unbelievable that he missed it right there and I'm telling you he is gonna be frustrated with himself until his next at bat next one off the plate inside and it's two and one one down Phillies down a run that one fouled off two and two Man at second. Gets under and pops it up. Goldie makes the play. And there are two down. Kyle Schwarber now at the plate. Two outs and one in scoring position. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Bottom of the fourth, now up for St. Louis, Dylan Carlson. The pitch. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Stop right there to make the grab. And there's one down. Here's Dickerson now. now batting, the designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. The 1-1. One, one. That's ball two. I got two on the count. And there's a the ball. One strike. And the right hater deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. And now, Yadier Molina. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a foul ball. Two away. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. The walk and a run scored his first time. The 1-1. That's a ball. 
He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. That one in for a strike, two and two. Kicks and fires. Out to short, and a base hit right there. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now so two on with two away. Harrison. And up next for St. Louis, Bader. Harrison Bader. Swing and a miss. One and two. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Dickerson, the lead runner out at second. The Young at first, two out of the inning. Pitch misses, two and two. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Harper racing over to make the catch. Here in St. Louis, down the number two hitter, Nick Castellanos. Next offering is down low. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Two two now. Stays alive. And here it comes. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. And that one is gone. Nick Castellanos goes deep. And this game is tied. It's 4-4. Here's Harper now. Next pitch is outside. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Three and two now. Hard hit, right side. Edmund picks it up, whips it to first. Harper retired. And now it is JT Real Muto. The wind of the pitch. And he chases that one. Two down. Two out, space is empty. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. And that one is lifted in the air. And it one hops the wall. Hoskins into second, and he's got a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. This to third, and it's through for a hit. And that'll kick off the base of the wall. The run comes in to score from second, and it's now 5-4. Picks himself up in RBI. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Next offering misses, and it's 2-1. One. one strike. And the pitch. That's down and in. Righty delivers. And he walked him. Here's the center fielder, Matt Veerling. One for two. And the righty deals. Slice to right. Dives, and he can't hang on. The throw to third, and he's in safely at third. A run comes in on the play. 
That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Johan Oviedo. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. That one gets down for a hit. In to score is the runner from third, and they lead by three. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Welcome back, and now Tommy Edmond and the pitch. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. In the air, left field. And it's caught for the out. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. First baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Veerling settles underneath it, puts it away for the out. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. The next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That ends the inning. Back here at Bush Stadium, and now the DH, Kyle Schwarber. Swing and a miss, and a count one and two. The wind and the pitch. That one drifts inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Up the middle. Over to Goldie. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Now the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. He's already homered in this game. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. That one ripped, but foul. Castellanos leads off first with one away. Swings and misses. Now two away. Now it's going to be JT Real Muto. The pitch. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Towards first, and it goes just foul. The pitch. And down on strikes, and that's the third out. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Now up the Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. Kicks and deals. That's off the mark. And a count two and one. One strike, the count. And that one off the outside edge. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. 
Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Well, the hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. Let's see how he changes it up on this next pitch. Popped up. Segura has this one sized up. Puts it away for the out. Dylan Carlson digs in now. Number three. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Next offering is fouled back. And a 1-2. Slap the other way, foul. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch is outside. And the right hater deals. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Corey Dickerson will hit next. He's 0 for 1. And there's ball four. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Two outs, runner at first. Digging in, Yadier Molina, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And he deals. That one inside, 3 and 1 now. The pitch. This one in the air, right field. Dives. What a play! here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. Now at the plate, Reese Hoskins. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes and one away. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. Right-handed reliever. Left field. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Out to short. DeYoung throws to first in time, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Sir Anthony Dominguez. Back here in St. Louis, bottom of the inning, and the batter will be the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Harrison Bader, the next to hit. He's already homered here in this one. And that one ripped to left. Castellanos puts it away. Out number two. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. Two outs. In the air, center field. Beerling makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And now the center fielder, Matt Veerling. Next pitch inside. And that's ball two. Righty to the plate. The punch.
punch out there. One out. So digging in, Bryson Stott. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Here's a 1 1. High fly ball out to center field. And there are two outs. So the Philly batting order turns over. And next is the designated Kyle. hitter, Kyle Schwarber. And a 1 1. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. And there's a hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And now it's even up. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Jaori's Familia. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Bottom of the eighth at the play. Paul Goldschmidt. The Cardinals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Tyler O'Neill. On the ground to short, and a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there, stepping up to the challenge. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, cut out in front, and... Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And that chance handled. Over to Didi. On to Hoskins. Double play. And now it's going to be Dylan Carlson. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And a pitch. Got him. And that is that. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Nick Wickgren. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. here at Bush Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. And now, here is Harper. Here's Harper. The count, two and one. And a foul ball. Two and two. Smash to the left side. Arenado to first. In time. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. JT Real Muto stands in for the Phillies. And here it comes. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The 2 1. And now 2 and 2. Filthy chase up right there. Just pulled the string. Mm -hmm. 
Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he'll make it into third with a triple. All over that one right there. Came screaming off the bat, I'm sure. Exit velocity is off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. Next to hit, Reese Hoskins. Next offering is down low. And that's ball two. At the belt and fires. That's a base hit as a run scores. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now here is Gene Segura. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That's hard hit on the line. Lays out and makes the play. Didi Gregorius at the plate. The pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Connor Brogdon. And he'll work on holding this lead. Number 75, Connor Brogdon. We head to the bottom of the ninth. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. Next offering is foul back. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. the ground right side and that's a base hit so they get a man aboard with a one out single even though he was really late on it he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line he had to be really short with that swing not get beat by that pitch and you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats now here is Paul the young Harper racing over to make the catch throw and it gets away And now here's a speed threat. Now Outfielder, back. Harrison Bader. One for three. Bader. The count two and one. Now one missed. The three one. Fought off foul. Payoff pitch, and a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. And our final here today, 8-4 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.
for this afternoon. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies, eight runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For St. Louis, four runs on five hits. No errors. They left five men on base. The winning pitcher is Zach Wheeler. The loss is to Adam Wainwright. Time of the ball game, three hours and 34 minutes. 